What's up? What up? Not much. Yeah, no, Let me hang. <laughs> so, guys. Hey, what's up, man? Long time no see. Now, uh, let's go, man. For Onyx, is it still Onyx or is it Onyxes? <laughs> Onyxes? Onyxi. <laughs> Something around there. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like this one. Wait. Yeah, I like the short one. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, okay, now I'm recording, I think. Okay, I think I'm good now. We waiting for anyone else? No, uh, Michael's not gonna make it. All right. All right, this is the start of our group ride video, part number two, because the first part was just gonna be too long. Oh, we already going? Okay, it's one of those group rides. We have no skateboards with us, so we can go pretty fast. I'm starting off part two at 78.2 volts. If you missed the first part, um, I lost my backpack, had to go back for it. <laughs> that was a big headache. Go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it and then come back to this one. But for the most part, <laughs> we're doing good now. And I forgot to put my phone up here. Dang it. Oh, it's too late. I'll do it later. Well, don't need to be in sports mode. I think eco mode will be perfectly fine. We're gonna be saving tons of battery. Probably go down one volt this whole entire trip. Oh, okay, eco mode's not gonna do it. We gotta go normal. It only does 19 in eco mode. Gabriel's leaving us. Ah. I think we're going to Barrow House like we always do. And I think we're gonna get some beers if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what we're doing. Haven't had a drink in a while. Been doing a lot of edibles on my days off. Just kind of chilling, helping me sleep. Especially getting the ones with CBD so it helps my back and everything like that. But I haven't had a drink in a long time. Every time I see somebody, I better pedal. This is one fast group ride. <laughs> Faster than we normally do anyways. Average is like 15 to 20. We've been doing an average of 25, 30. What's that guy on? <laughs> that look interesting. Hey, what was that? Brake issues? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was just random. I don't know why. <laughs> I couldn't tell you why I did that. Just got, just got <laughs> I, get, I felt like stretching my feet and then I just felt like putting them down to the ground and filling the, the tracks. I don't know. <laughs> all right we made it to our first spot that we normally park and wait for everybody but i don't think we need to wait for anybody no. i was debating if we were gonna even pull in here yeah i don't know what was the, the long way normally <laughs> normally we have to pull in here because we got to wait for everyone in the back but i think everyone can keep up perfectly fine we did a lot of shit. I came from Ashland 99, and oh, okay. and then I went to Regal, uh, Manchester. We came six miles this way, had to go back because I left my backpack. <laughs> and then we came back over here. We were jamming to try to make it on time. But actually, I'm surprised. I'm at 78 volts. Can't complain. I'm at uh, 75. Yeah, that's not bad at all. You're you're uh, still over half. You're at like 60. I'm probably at like 75 or yeah. so. Or 70 can't complain over 100 pounds more than you yeah you got the bike rack too and you got the headlights got a bunch of extra added on stuff the rack the rack is kind of heavy i took mine off and i got to mine off i never I used it, it. <laughs> yeah i never used it and then i have another uh u-lock i got the new york one okay so so i gotta take this one and bring the other one Yeah. I'm pedaling. I'm actually pedaling. No throttle. No throttle. Alright, I had to recheck that I have my backpack this time. We don't want to have that incident all over again. <laughs> what a disaster. Uh, someone said something about taking the longer way around to get to our destination just because 
me and Gabriel, we're not coming all the way back to where we met everyone up at because they took their car. So of course they got to go all the way back to the, that spot. But we came so far. So we're not going uh, all the way back. So we'd rather take a longer route to the meeting spot so we have more of a group ride because this group ride is mostly for using your skateboard and stuff like that. We go a lot slower. So we're like blowing through the whole group ride. We're gonna have to get another longer group ride going for like stuff like this. Oh, he's already going. <laughs> I guess I'll guess I'll go too. <laughs> it's a loose headlight. That car is clean. God, love how those things look. So dope. So dope. <laughs> This guy's scraping over here. <laughs> Careful in this parking lot. I know. <laughs> I was like, he's scraping everywhere. <laughs> I'll show you how my sports mode is. <laughs> Cause I have it turned up. So I'll full throttle it. Who has a tripod? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Try these. There's another one too. If you... Yeah, that thing's definitely interesting. <laughs> Would you put that for air? Huh? Oh, yeah, I just always custom made it. Just to get a, some uh, air scoop in it. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like it's for. It's cool. Get these out. What's up? Should do the same thing. I need to start doing more Instagram shit. I'm so bad at that. Can't you just put my backpack behind it? Oh, that'll probably work too. Oh, that's yeah, it's a lot smaller too. Hey, I see myself. All right, after we get that headlight fixed, kind of with some uh, duct tape, <laughs> electrical tape. I think it's red. <laughs> that's funny. We were trying to figure out the route on where we wanted to go, if we wanted to take a long way or a short way because a lot of people are gonna be dipping out from the location because we are on the other side of town. This guy's scraping. Woohoo! Oh man, so nice. Power's nice, bike hasn't been cutting off. We've been stopping a lot lately, so we haven't had any issues. So I'll take it for now. Yeah. Still doing really good on range too. I'm very, very impressed. So 25 miles, basically 24.9 is what it says, but let's just say 25 miles. We already know that it's always off like a mile or two, so technically it's actually more miles than it says we did, but just, let's just go off of that. And we were at 77.6 volts. Not too shabby. Not even halfway down on the battery. So that means if we can at least get 30 miles to like 72, 72 volts, that means we can easily do 60 miles on this battery and still have room to spare just in case you have different terrain and all that stuff. So I can guarantee if we hit that number, we can definitely do 60 miles on this bike. All right, here's the spot. It looks like it's popping too. A lot of people. Let me turn my light off, I guess. Don't blind people. What sucks is we can't drink over at Barrel House anymore, like outside. You have to drink inside. They got rid of all their tables. Yeah, I guess they don't have their license for drinking outside anymore. It's all inside. It's like, oh, that sucks. Whoa. <laughs> I can't fit through there. This is the plan. All right, got it. Got it. <laughs> I was like, I can't fit through that. I thought you were taking a little shortcut. 
<laughs> At least you found one right away. The only bad thing is that we can't go to Barrel House because you have to drink inside. So there goes that idea. Oh, was it? Yeah. I was wondering, I was like, hey, are you hugging just uh, like your friend? Are you that close? <laughs> Makes sense. I think about, oh, I have a drink. I kind of want a soda though. Five Guys soda sounds good. The tea place next to Barrel House is pretty decent. Teasers? Yeah. Yeah. They're not too bad. Beats uh, paying six dollars for the lemonade there. Yeah, very true. <laughs> Who was that? That was you. <laughs> I thought that was you. All right, I'm gonna take this off. And go get a soda. All right. All right. Take it off. All right, man. Yeah, Fresno is the one that's right on the other side. Oh, uh, yeah, North Fresno Street. Yeah, that'd be better for me since I don't have to backtrack so far. And then I'll ride with you all the way as far as you guys take off before you make a left to go out to Clovis. Hey, is there any way to turn down the Onyx display? Like the brightness? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure something out because no one can ever see my screen at night, so. Ah, my! <laughs> that NYC headlight is bright. <laughs> all right. I say we just go straight, yeah. See you guys. Dang. <laughs> come on, Gabriel, come on. You can make it. We got all the battery range in the world. We're already done with our group ride. It was actually very, very short. Um, we didn't take the longer route that I thought we were gonna take, but uh, I'm still at 77 volts. Not even half. It's crazy. Yeah. How awesome is that though, man? Like, I feel like I can ride this thing for, like longer than I would want to, you know what I mean? Like I can get so much range out of this thing, it's crazy. So like, you're almost at half, so it looks like you're probably gonna get 30 miles for every like, well, 50%. Yeah, so, so you can easily, like if you wanna be on the safe side, you can easily probably get like 55 miles and the last mile you're probably gonna be going really slow just to make sure you get home. Yeah, I'm just 50 miles. Yeah. And I was looking at mine, I was like, I'm four miles away from uh, thir uh, 30 miles, and I'm at 77 per uh, voltage, so. 77? Yeah. Oh, shit. So I think if I hit 30 miles and I have like 74 or 75 per, uh, volts left, this is easily a 60 mile bike in traffic. But obviously that's not like, like you know, sports mode, 50 miles an hour, 24 seven, but I like it, man, I like it. This made me enjoy my Onyx a lot better. <laughs> Because I just couldn't do anything with the other battery. Kind of sucked. Yeah, you can't go anywhere. Go, bike, go! Uh, we're still hitting 50. Even though we lost a lot, well, not a lot of voltage, but we're still over 50 at least. I'll take it. Oh man, what a big pothole I just did not see at all. That caught me by surprise. Holy crap. I know uh, it's up to you. I was thinking I was gonna take Ashland because Shaw is a little too busy. No, I think it's uh, like two more, I think. <laughs> oh. This is Ashland. Alright man. You leaving? Oh, where's he going? <laughs> I thought he was following me. I saw Gabriel turn right behind me. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't go this way, he lives in Clovis. We live at the total opposite sides of town, so I was like, where's he going? But, um, all right, so we're pretty much gonna be jamming back. We're at 29 miles. I'll tell you right now, though, my GPS would have said 30 or 31. But anyway, 76 volts. Not even half. Insane guys, insane. Don't hit me. 
Don't hit me, oh thank God. Came out of there pretty damn fast. Why are they speeding up? Just a red light. Supposed to speed up and then uh, get ready to break at a light. But okay. That was a fun little uh, trip that we did. If you saw part one and watched the whole entire thing, it's a pretty fun ride altogether. Now, would I ever be riding 30 miles on the Onyx Lake all the time? Nope. <laughs> but it's kind of cool that I can do that now and not have to worry about anything. We're going against the wind here, so uh, it's not going to be the best for audio. Hopefully, it's all right for you guys. But um, definitely going to decrease our range a little bit now that I'm going against the wind. But it feels great because it's been so hot. And now the sun's down, love it. And hey, we just passed 4,700 miles on the Onyx. Come on now, that's a lot of miles. I didn't put those on there, but I mean, this bike itself does have that many miles. Can't take that away from it. Motor's still holding up. Even though, I don't know if you guys noticed when we uh, started building this Onyx, and uh, I don't know if it was video two or three, but uh, the Onyx motor in the back has a uh, tape on it. Now, I don't know why there's tape on it, but um, my original one that I bought never had tape on it. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it got ripped at one point and they fixed the wires and retaped it. I don't know. But it still works, so I'll take it. Oh, and by the way, I have went through three GoPro batteries for this whole entire trip. For part one and part two. That's how much footage I'm going to have to edit through. <laughs> Lots of it. Wait! God, I got hella air. Ow, a bug just hit me like right in the face. And that shit sucked ass. They did not feel comfortable at all. Man, that guy came in the street hella hot. There was a guy on a bike that uh, kind of pulled out and then he pulled back in toward the bike lane. I was like, is he really gonna try to cross the street right now? He's gonna get ran over by the BMW. The BMW is hauling ass. So this road is like 40 miles an hour. And I do like 45 sometimes, but I'm maxed out. I'm holding the throttle and I'm doing 48 against the wind. And, and they're going faster than me. Oh yeah, my lane. Green, 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 booyah. So we lost a little bit of our torque, but man, it feels like if you didn't even turn the bike up with the color controller settings, it almost feels like factory when you get it. But uh, I mean, that's still good power. I never complained about the torque on the Onyx. I just always complain about the top speed. And I'm still going to complain about the top speed because we're not even down half the battery. We're actually at 72 volts under full throttle while we're in motion. And uh, we can only get like 47 miles per hour. Like, we really lost that many miles per hour? Six? We lost six miles per hour? That's crazy. Think about when we're like the last like 20 or 30 percent of the battery. What are we going to be on then? Are we going to be doing like... 35, 40. All right, no one's next to me. I'm gonna get over. The good thing is we're getting almost all the green lights. Like they're yellow, so we do slow down for them, but then they turn green like right away, except this one. Kind of jinx myself. Uh, we're down to five battery bars left. If you guys can't see the Onyx display. 74.6 for voltage. So full throttle up this hill, 70 volts is what our uh, voltage sag is. Cutting it close there. We are on 99 and Ashland. So if you guys ever cruise through Fresno, you're gonna know exactly where this is at. This is the freeway for 99. Doing a bunch of construction over here.
She got a towel hanging out of her fiesta. <laughs> she got a towel hanging out. I hate people that make turns like last minute. Like, if you know you're not gonna make it, then do just go up to the next light, make a U turn, do what you gotta do. Don't make everyone's like traffic stop or you know their traffic ride home like all messed up just because you messed up we got to get the servo on and come back out and race that charger that's way up there just like this charger in front of me it's hauling ass over there <laughs> look pretty slow i think it's a v6 not a v8 every time i see one light on the other side of the road i'm like is it a motorcycle or a motorcycle cop I always get paranoid. I am so curious to see when we get back to the house what our voltage is gonna be at. I mean, I've been full throttle pretty much the whole entire time coming back. So I know I'm really killing the battery now, but the fact that, ow, 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 <laughs> my nuts. The fact that we haven't even hit like half on this battery yet and I'm over 30 miles is insane. Absolutely insane. Try battery, what the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> This is some good shit. Can't complain. There's a motorcycle cop right there. He's just chilling. You gotta be careful. He definitely saw me going faster than uh, 30 miles an hour on something that's supposed to be a bike. But if we can beat him <laughs> to the house, he can't do crap. I thought that was just an actual motorcycle just chilling. But no, it was a cop. Woo, one last nice pull on the way home. And I will see you guys at the house and I will let you know what our uh, voltage is at. I'm about to blow your guys' mind on this voltage because you know how I ride. I just showed you part one and part two on how I exactly ride this bike in the street with traffic. We don't take no bike lanes around here. So if you took a bike lane with this and you were doing 20, 30 miles an hour the whole time, guaranteed, you will get over probably 80 miles, if not 100, depending on what mode you're in. If you're in normal mode, I can see you getting 80. If you were in um, eco mode, you will easily get over 100, guarantee it. And I'm not anyone that works for Chai. I paid for this battery myself, $2,500 myself, other than using my discount code, Mr. Central Driver. You can save like, I think it's 125, 130 bucks on this battery right here. So you're looking at like, what, 23 something, 23.75? So keep that in mind if you guys want to buy one. All right, let me show you guys where we ended up at. All right, so I'm not even going to let the battery sit right now. And hopefully, I'm praying to God you guys can see how this uh, display looks. Because I got my lights up up top. And we were at 74.2 volts. 74.2 volts. That is probably, I think, around in between 55 and 60%. But I think it's closer to 60% and we did 35.1 miles. We're still only down to our last like five battery bars on the Onyx display. And that is very, very impressive. I am so happy with this battery. It has made me love the bike so much more that I can travel and do stuff with it now. The 23 amp hour battery is just not worth it. I feel like maybe Onyx should start maybe um, selling bikes without the battery even included so you can buy your own battery and save yourself like i don't know maybe you can discount them by like a thousand bucks or something like that i don't know but anyways see you guys in the next one peace out thanks for watching part one and part two and if you didn't watch part one go back and watch that because then you're going to see how we got the range to this battery and what what happened and how i lost my backpack and how i got it back crazy first part of the video so see you guys in the next one later